Welcome back, guys, to This and Much More. I'm Evelyn and my co host is Rolly Vogues. And today, our special guest is Mike DeLeon. Which camera do I look at? This one. This one. It don't matter. Either one. You don't this have one. to look at either. AKA yeah. Big Camera Guy. Back again, another episode. I know. We back. Low Finally. Key, he's the first one that comes back, right? Yeah. Except, as a, well, other than on Terry. Much, oh, uh, but yeah, but Terry came to post it. Yeah. And he came back as different businesses. Yeah, this is uh, uh, highly, yeah. uh, what do you call it? You're the first that we come bring Bring highly back. Uh, requested. Same yeah, it's a highly requested. <laughs> highly requested. Same business. <laughs> highly requested. Bro, how you how you been? How's Man, everything? Uh since the last time damn, when was uh twenty one? Twenty three. Twenty yeah, dang. December twenty one, I think. Yeah. Um I mean since then it's kind of been just up, 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 up. But yeah, I mean traveling still. Um You stay traveling. Yeah, so oh, bro. Traveling a lot. Like I'm already at thirty flights for the year. Um but you just like what? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, 30 you, flights. Do you crazy. never schedule anything? Or so, you, I mean, like, because like, I know you're like always. Like, like last week was a perfect example of kind of like how, like, people just call me. Like, I, like, Monday, I woke up, I was like, oh, I don't have nothing this week. I'm going to chill. And then that day, I got called, hey, can you go to St. Louis tomorrow? I'm like, all right. So I go, I get to St. Louis. Hey, can you come to Boston Wednesday? I'm like, all right. So I fly to Boston instead of flying home. I'm in Boston. Like, hey, can you come to uh, can you come to Philly on Friday? I'm like, well, since I'm already over here, I might as well stay here. So yeah. I stayed night in Boston and went to Philly, and then I came home Saturday. But like Monday, none of that was planned. It's just a lot of it's I, last I, minute. I who honestly. calls you? Uh, like I mean, it's like random jobs. Like, well, yeah. one of the jobs was uh, Matchroom Boxing, which is the pr- promotion company I work for, yeah. um, do contract work for. So like. Um, for that one, we had to do a boxing promo for one of the fighters that's fighting in Philly. Uh, the other one was a corporate job, and then the other one was a last minute, another like corporate type job. So there, it's just random. But I honestly only have the same like five clients. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah oh, so, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Every once in a while, I'll get like a random new one, but um, it's pretty much the same five. But six you clients. just you stick to them because they know your budget already, right? Uh, budget, comfortability. Um, Trust. Trust. I think that's a big one. Yeah. And do you pay for your flights out of no, pocket? No, no, no. I don't pay for anything. Uh-uh. No, no. Everything's paid. They pay. I have them. I, like so you what, invoice them. I used flight. to. So what, what I think is the best way to do it is have them pay for it from off the jump because I, I can't stand the whole like book well, it and I'll, I'll invoice you and you get reimbursed. Like, because then the payment takes a long time sometimes. Sometimes they're net 30. Sometimes they're net 60. So it's like, damn, I just paid a thousand. Because then the, the flights are always last minute. So they're always like seven, eight hundred dollars. So I just paid seven eight hundred dollars out of my pocket. Now I gotta wait thirty days. You know what I'm saying to pay yeah. it back. So it's like so they book you at they whatever, book everything. They book at every, a random ass time because sometimes book I see yeah. you posting and it's like three in the morning. And yeah, shit. yeah. They, they'll book they'll book based on like <laughs> what like time say day. the job is at nine. I'm like fuck. I gotta get a, like a five a.m. flight. So yeah, that's yeah. pretty much how it works. You know, whenever whenever I was running this morning, I was thinking about like how. If it's hard for you to like just stick to a schedule, you know, like I was like, man, every day I gotta, I gotta try to have my meals in. I gotta run in the morning, but then like I feel like you're on the go. So are you yeah. ever like no, that? That's the <clears throat> that's what I'm dealing with right now, which I'm kind of like, kind of getting to the point where I'm like, man, I don't know how long this is sustainable because I want a schedule. Like I, I like yeah. I'll get so I'll be home for like I don't know two three weeks and then I'll get to like my routine. I'm like, hell yeah, this feels great. And then all of a sudden I go like on a seven day binge yeah. of like traveling and stuff like that but when i'm out of town i always try i still try to run when i'm there just to see well one to see the city and two just to like do something yeah so you're, well i mean you're a guy and you're a big guy yeah so, so it's, it's like it's it a little easier matter. no for sure like when i was in El salvador i ran every day i was there was yeah i know i love incredible loved, i loved when you were posting but there. people were like looking at me like what, what the, the fuck? fuck yeah like who is this dude running these little and ass shorts you, you don't have tattoos right <laughs> no, well oh, just that, on my leg but, but imagine if you had tattoos no, exactly. like on your arms but it was just funny because like i'm just i'm running around on these streets probably no one has ran at and um there's no sidewalks yeah and no. so it's just like i'm just like weaving in and out of traffic isn't it crazy like how the house scene is over there yes because when we went like um my mom's grandma's house is like you have to walk it's in almost this like alley. nobody has a property right yeah that nobody just... has a backyard front yard nothing it's just you walk straight to your house well you know? the, i mean i was in a couple different places i can't remember the names well uh, my grandparents did have space the way their house oh, yeah yeah because yeah. yeah, yeah. when i was yeah, in the, right. when i was in the city um 
I was in like a bunch of gated communities. Like the houses <clears throat> we were going to were all in gated communities. I think they had a little bit of money. Um, so like everything was gated and there was like yes. guards in front and everything. Oh, I see. But I will say like the locals are not, they're still not used to having um, like tourists. tourists. Yeah, yeah. They just, well, whenever they're you just kind of like double take. Like. Whenever you went, I feel like it was barely like newer. No, 100%. I think now it's a little bit more. So the, I want to go back. Well, yeah, I don't think it would have changed that quick. No, it, it's it, been it two changed. Years. So when I went last year, <clears throat> it was like one year, a year and a half since they pretty much like cleaned the cleaned city. Yeah, yeah. And I remember I was in that plaza. I forgot what it's called. And it has like, it says El Salvador. And I was in there with like my camera gear, like my backpack, my drone, like everything. And then the guy that was my like, um, his name is Rubio. Actually, he's from Houston. The guy that took us over to my my friend. The gym guy? Yeah, Rubio. Oh, he's, he's yeah, Salvadorian. So we were, yeah, yeah. So we were doing yeah, yeah. A, a job for him. <clears throat> basically trying to hype up like this powerlifting competition that he was going to have it didn't work out because like i don't know what happened but anyways um he was saying like his brother was like yo a year ago there's no way you guys would have been here like yeah either you would have got kidnapped they would have killed you for your kidnap i mean equipment or yeah. just like <clears throat> anything like there's no way you guys could have been here and i'm like in front of people's faces like <laughs> <filming them. laughs> this lady's like dancing and i'm just like <laughs> vibing with her <laughs> But. I know that's crazy. <laughs> it was nice though. I, there was I liked a year it a lot. my mom that there was a year that my mom couldn't go. My mom goes like that's once crazy. or twice a year, and there was a year that she couldn't go because supposedly like I stopped. You know Spanish? No, I don't know Spanish. That's I, I know it's terrible. Um, <laughs> it's terrible. It's <laughs> terrible. She was like they basically were like looking for her because one of mm. our family members was a part of the Mara or something like that, and he got murdered. And they were like, "Oh, your family that's coming from over here has money." So it was my mom and my tia Carmen. Yeah, I remember. They that couldn't go that's crazy yeah they, they were like telling me about the whole like civil war and like the uh rubio's brother's parents were like kind of like, explaining us everything and i'm just yeah. that's 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 a whole another world over i there. know like it's pretty we're, very, we're very yeah. lucky as much as like shit goes on here we're yeah still as, very as very as, lucky like, all the ingredients are shit yeah. <laughs> here <laughs> we have it easy <laughs> <laughs> You ain't lying, though. <laughs> <laughs> Our ingredients are trash. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, because I bought some candies and Lucia was like, the red 40. And I'm like, yeah. what? She's yeah. like, that's like you're giving me a little crack. And I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. No, yeah, shit, but I'm we lying. grew up on a bunch of stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, it, hey, these kids ain't never going to know what like drinking out the water hose is like. <laughs> <laughs> For <laughs> Uh-uh. No, that's uh, true. Like yesterday, like yesterday, Milo, uh, it was raining a little bit yesterday, you know, and then the water was pouring from the little, um, the fucking things that the, gutter? the, 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 gutters? the gutters or whatever. And then he's like, "Can I lick the water?" And I'm like, "Oh, bro." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I we're saw, little. I used to all the time. <laughs> 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 I'm like, nah, don't do that shit, bro. He nah, don't do that shit whenever <laughs> he did it. <laughs> he's like, he's out there with his cup. <laughs> You know what? This is probably super dumb, but I did not know that rainwater was the dirtiest water. Oh yeah. I was like, what? I mean, <laughs> it's good for your plants, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I try to, I try to uh, keep like a cup out oh, and don't water tell me my you plants. You became with. a plant guy. I've been a plant guy. Really? Yeah, I've been What's a plant you, guy for a while. You, did you tell us that you were a plant guy? I think so. Um, I mean, don't you post them? Or oh, you used to? I used to post them a lot, but yeah. a lot of them died. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, he travels a lot. Of, a, lot. a lot of them died because, yeah, because I was traveling. Yeah. But uh, right now, I'm like really into cactuses. So. Oh my god, my I grandma like gave me like a whole little thing mm -hmm. of little. Succulent. I have one of those too, the money trees, but it's a real. That's obviously not real, but. No. It's a real, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> None of these plants are damn real. I know. Plant. I got a couple of those. When we, yeah. when we, whenever it's we get nice in. When we, whenever we get a new house, we want to have real well, plants. Well, I, I wonder how hard looked, it's gonna be. I kind of looked it's into um, <clears throat> like house plants, like mm -hmm. that are meant to be indoor, yeah. are like not don't need don't require as much sun, you know? Because mm -hmm. there is some. Yeah, succulents, succulents. These. Yeah. Those are snake plants. Well, are my good. succulents died. What? How do you kill them? You just got a <laughs> cactuses. You just put them by windows. I was like, no, I had a cactus and it dried up. I don't my know. My grandma was like, how the hell did it die? And I'm just like, I don't know. Like I watered it yeah, my head like when i remembered everything. like yeah. you know <laughs> that's funny man for a moment i was going to the plant shop like every week but i kind of calmed down because things got like out of control and then it started one died and then i'm like oh shit and then this one died and i'm like bringing this one back to life and then it just became too much I'm yeah like, oh yeah so I, it was like too many little ones yeah and i'm like so oh i gotta bring them all outside do the water you name room. them 
No, nah, I don't name them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't go that deep into it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, so it's cool. <laughs> I'm like, damn, it's a vibe in here. Yeah. <laughs> it does, <laughs> right? Little I'm like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> Wait, so what about, if you don't mind me asking, are you like in a relationship? Or yeah, yeah, single? no, we're, still, we're we the got, same? Uh, yeah, yeah, the same one. What? Yeah, we're still together. So yeah. wait, so oh, how does cool. that work for her? Like, your um, schedule? She's, she's gotten, she's gotten um, better than our, like when we were first, because we split up for like a year and a half. Oh, okay. And so when we were first together, for the first three years, uh, it was a struggle for her. She wasn't used to it. She didn't understand, she didn't understand the lifestyle mm. of like. I guess the entrepreneur lifestyle too, like always yeah. being on. What did she have a nine to five? No, she used to, but now she's like she does social media management now. Oh, so now she understands because like there's always something to do. Yeah, like eight nine at night, a client hits you up, or like you're just like, oh shit, I gotta do something for or get ready tomorrow. There's just always something to do. Mm-hmm. So at first she she wouldn't understand that because I was always on my computer, or was always on the phone. But it's not like I was bullshit, and I was like talking to clients or like trying to come up like if i had an idea if i would like smoke and had an idea i'm like oh shit i gotta write this down before i forget mm-hmm. so i'll be on my notes and then i get in the zone and then i start like editing next thing you know it's 1 a.m so shit like that but the traveling she's uh definitely um i would be so she understands yeah like, she i definitely would be like yeah. i would i think it'd be hard for me if you were like that and i'm like man we had a, a family quinceanera on saturday yeah like, she she does get really upset when i forget to tell her Cause I do do that. I'm like, oh fuck, hey, he's gotta... on the flight. Oh shit, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> I'm on my way to Philly right I'll, now. I'll like, I'm like packing. She's like, where are you going? I'm like, oh fuck, I forgot to tell you, I gotta go to California tomorrow. Like, she's like, dude, you gotta get better at that. I'm like, man, I forgot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that's the only time she gets a little upset. But uh, other than that, like, I mean, she's great. It's she doesn't trip. It's, just, it's yeah. actually. She kind of likes it better because it gets me out the house and I don't book her. Mm-hmm. So she gets to like focus. Oh wait, on so work. y'all are living together yeah. now? Oh okay, cool. Yeah, it's been like a year and a half. Um. Yeah, a year. Yeah, a year. So, like, when she she's in her office, and when I'm not home, she says it's like she can get the most work done. Mm. So, yeah, you're not there. Yeah, like it's kind of it's kind of beneficial. Like, honestly, I, I mean, I like I have since a friend, I leave so like, much. I feel like I have I have a friend better. too that her husband travels for work, mm-hmm. and she says that sometimes it's like better for her. Yeah. But I tell Roland, I'm like, that's so hard for me to understand. Like, I don't think have you ever lived by yourself. Uh, without him, like just in general, like by oh, everybody. Never, uh, I never lived by myself. See, I always, your... whenever I left my mom's house, I mm. moved in with my best friend. We were roommates. Okay. And then after that, we got engaged, yeah. and then we started living together. Yeah. yeah. So, what, like, because I feel like once I lived by myself, I understood, like, damn, this is tight. I like just like being by yourself and being alone and being comfortable like that. So once you figure out that space, and then like you bring it into a relationship, and then she figured out that space as well when we split up. So it's like now when we're together, we're both comfortable with being by ourselves. So like when I leave, she's like, all right, that's cool. I'm yeah. chilling. Like I, I have now my me time again. And it kind of brings her back to like that time when she was by herself in the, in her apartment. So she's like enjoying our, she does all her little weird routines and self cares and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Walk around with fucking masks and shit. So it's like, it, it also, it benefits the relationship. No, yeah, well. yeah. I mean, 100%. But no, I can see how it benefits other relationships. Yeah. But I just feel like with us, I yeah, don't I'm know. It's hard though. No, like the transition, like from like being, I had never lived by myself before. And I remember I was in that apartment for six months. I, Yo, like, this is sucks. <laughs> Fucking crying every day. I'm just like, man. When hey, you want to come over? <laughs> who's trying to book me who's right to, now? <laughs> who's trying to come? Who's trying to come hang out? But but do you ever feel homesick at all? Like, cause yes, uh, if you, it gets too long. So anything like six days and under, I'm cool. But if it gets like past the six days, I'm like, like you know how you I'm said ready. you were. I get homesick after like 30 minutes. Like if I'm like, if I'm but, somewhere, if I'm, kid, yeah, I but if I'm somewhere, kid. I'm like, man, I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. to get to the house. And that's another thing you see. Like, that's why I think it wouldn't work out for us. One, one, because I feel like we both have the entrepreneur mindset. Mm-hmm. So we know the work we both have to put into yeah, it. Like yeah. yesterday, but I it's was like with to my a sister. Limit, though. It's, it's to a limit where it's like, okay, at the end of the day, I have to, sleep here at the at the house yeah. you know like but i'm like i'm thinking i'm you thinking like sleep here at the house <laughs> no, no, but, but i'm thinking like at what point are they gonna book me to go somewhere and if going. they do <laughs> the whole yeah, that's, that's we'll true. make a trip out of it shit. I don't, i'm trying to think that is true i only know one uh, graphic designer agency that travels a lot and mm-hmm. it's two of them they're called the thirsty boys shout out to them 
Um, they're out of Austin. I'm a thirsty boy right now. That hey. <laughs> they um they they travel with Golden Boy. So wherever like mm -hmm. Golden Boy Promotions goes, the boxing company, they have to so they create all the graphics on the screens. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they have to make sure everything fits directly. And if it doesn't, they they fix everything live. Other than that, I don't know any graphic designers who like really travel like. Well, yeah, I think yeah. it's just a lot of like uh, you can do from home. Yeah. You know. Which honestly, I I mean, it's all perspective. Like, yeah. If you want to travel a lot, it's cool. But like, I like right now, I'm at a point like I prefer that because then then you can go anywhere and work. Yeah. If you can. But yeah. another thing is like if if we didn't have Milo, then yeah, I would say travel mm -hmm. because it's just like you're already working yeah. but you're traveling so it's like you're getting both, no, it's a bunch of free right? trips yeah, yeah and it's trips well, you it's, know? it's it's cool but it's like it's not as fun because you're by yourself so it's like you're not really experiencing it with people yeah but it is fun like like when i was in boston i, I went and visited like all the historical sites and then i went to like a red sox game but then again i was just by myself <laughs> so yeah because so like, yeah, i would think that you're with everybody you're working with but no nah, i'm by myself not. yeah no i'm by so myself y'all just meet it? up at some point during the day uh, we'll just do, meet up for the shoot, and then yeah, that's it. And I come home. Yeah. It's 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 because I'm working. I want to I want to be like focused on mm. what I'm doing. I'm not I trying to like, yeah. hey, you okay? You good? Because you just naturally, you'll just naturally want to like make sure they're especially okay, especially if she's alone. Yeah, exactly. Right? So I'm like, I'd rather just no. Yeah, I get that. Myself. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because I feel like for us, it'd be. Um, yeah, it'd be hard because we've talked about it. Like we're yeah. like, oh, what if we go to LA or something, mm -hmm. and you go get a job? I told him, I'm like, I think I would like. Obviously, they would if they paid for your stuff. We could just book our own thing, yeah. and then we would just. I know I would be like going places with Milo or something. Yeah, you yeah. know, figuring no, that's shit out. True. Like no, that's so. true. But yeah. I'm pretty sure it would be on the back of his mind. Like, oh Man, shit, I hope yeah, they're having okay. A, having a kid, yeah, no, hundred percent. But like, yeah, there's no way I could do this if I had a kid. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I could. <clears throat> Well, maybe you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hey, know. if guys do it they they drive 18 wheelers and they you know yeah they I, I know a lot of like guys in my field week. who travel just as much as me and they have whole ass families i'm like yeah huh? well i just think it's like a perspective like once yeah. you've already done it and you know you're ready to settle down so what do you think you'll do once you settle down are you still doing the weddings that no, you booked I retired on facebook completely yeah no, I remember I re you, said you said you did like on facebook a, a post that Oh, every time I need, yeah, every time I need some money, I'll do like a sale, like twenty percent off packages. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I completely retired from weddings. I, I did my last wedding in in December, and uh, I was like, "Yo, I'm fucking done." Like, and that was the I, one that you said you booked like for two hundred bucks or something like no, that. No, no, no. That was oh, so that was there. I had a bunch of bookings before COVID, and then COVID yeah, yeah. happened, and I, I didn't know I didn't know how to price myself, so I was still doing those like thousand dollar, eight hundred dollar weddings like in twenty twenty two. But 23, 24, what year are we in? 24. 24. No, 20, in the 22, 23, I got everything back to like my pricing. But still, I was just like, I'm bur I was burnt out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just over it. And you, you just did a music video? Yeah, I just did a music you video with. Music uh, video, yeah, guys. don't book me for a music video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do not book me for a music video. It was it was a passion project for a friend. I was inspired. Uh, I was on a, a music video set in uh, Chicago mm. for one of the bands I tour with. And I was just kind of like, watching them how how they operate like on a big set like that and i was like man i could do this like it kind of gave me like a lot of confidence in myself yeah just seeing the way like <clears throat> the camera the camera uh camera operator like moved and then like operated and then seeing the director how he spoke to everybody and then seeing just like how everyone operates like on a set and i'm like bro i could do this shit like for for real for real so as soon as i got home i, I called my boy like Hey, you got a song coming out? Like, let's shoot a music video. So it turned out great. It uh, hasn't come out yet. It comes out June 27th. But um, I'm still in the editing process. But, I mean, it was it was a very successful shoot. It was how, all day. How long do you think it takes to edit? It's quick, no? Uh, it can be quick. I'm, like, working on it every once in a while. Like, I'll, like yesterday I was working on it for, like, a couple of hours. Mm. But... Um, it won't be quick if he's... It, it'll be... It, if I can, yeah, it, it'll be quick if I can just sit down and, like, just finish in one yeah. day. I could probably finish in a day, but... I'm taking my time on yeah. it. But then yeah. there's more to it, right? I mean, I guess because whenever yeah. I edit this shit, I mean, I just synchronize the audio yeah. with the video and that's it. I don't have to like color correct nothing. Or well, whatever. I'm sure yeah, with no. the music video, it's different because you got to kind of match their mouthing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's kind of the same. Yeah. Like you, I, I made sure I, I would sync like a clap like, yeah. before he would start going. Oh, so like I, how we clap. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How you just yeah. clapped right there. Here. Uh, well, let's go on a quick break and then we'll be right back. All right. right? Cool.
we are back. We're back. So was so I was gonna say you were we were talking about your relationship and how it all that you know mm-hmm. fits in your schedule. How's your budgeting? Like, what oh, do you terrible. spend your money on? <laughs> well, right now I'm fucked. Like, you don't I've, have I've kids. Been, like, um, well, this past, this recently, <laughs> I've, I had a, a, I had a surgery on my mouth like a year ago, and when I when I agreed to it, it they said it was only gonna be like twenty five hundred for my tooth, and it's, I'm at like fifteen k now, so all my money's been going there. <laughs> What the yeah, so every I've had like six surgeries basically. That are, <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I don't have a tooth right now. Let's have a retainer. No, you did not. <laughs> so I don't have a tooth right now. So this is this retainer has been in for like a year and a half, and they just been operating. I I I got hit here when I was uh, like twenty three. Yeah, and basically over time it died, and then I had like a got like a really bad infection like up in my gum. So it's been a lot of work. I had to do like a bunch of gum graft and just a bunch of shit that shouldn't I did not know I had to do. Anyway, so that's where my money's been going as of recently. Oh <laughs> my god, crazy. That is... that, yeah. So it's it's really like it's kind of honestly teeth fucking teeth related. Up. Fucking sucks. Yeah, like it's it's like bullshit. it's like, well, like you, well, for you because you también we yeah had, I've you, had like, my your, I need to get those them, out too. They had to get removed. I had no space in my mouth, Damn. and they pushed in my bottom teeth, and it's just fucking crazy. Like I hate it. And yeah, then Milo, just, when he was a year and a half, he broke his mm. tooth. He he chipped it. COVID hit. He got it. It got infected. They were saying, "Don't go to the hospital. Don't go to the hospital." Mm. So we're just like, "Oh my god!" It was just terrible. Like yeah, I got I got I got my I got my ass whooped. I got beat up when I was like twenty three. I got jumped. Here, let me show you a picture. Oh my god! <laughs> they fucked me up. They fucked me up. It was like it was a bunch of them. Valen got jumped once too. Yeah. It was like, yeah I mean, nah, I don't. Wanna... <gasps> oh, oh my, my god, god, bro. So yeah, that I was like, look, I saw that hair too. <laughs> <laughs> so that was when I was like twenty three. Uh, like they pushed your teeth. No, I mean, well, I, they actually pissed away me. <laughs> they fucking. So this like all four of these got pushed back, broke my orbital bone, broke my jaw, gash here. Uh, oh yeah, God. no, they fucked me up. They they fucked me up bad, but. And y'all, you're still doing that. <clears throat> it's like it was my. I mean, I guess it was my fault. I was wow. talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> you overcharged them for a video? Huh? No, nah, I wasn't even doing a video. <laughs> Dang, that's I was leaving crazy. the club. I was like all drunk, bumping what into club? someone. What club? What mm. club? Man, it was proof when proof used to be that rooftop lounge in Midtown. Oh, okay. No, yeah, running guy jumped at Bayou. Oh, Bayou City. Damn. Damn. I used to go there. That's Bayou, <laughs> Bayou City Wings. Yeah. No, it was the other one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But that was terrible, right? <laughs> No, that was crazy. But, but anyway, so hey, it's life lesson. Not, yeah. Not, so that's shit. where your budgeting goes now. <laughs> Late recently, yes, but uh, before that, I mean, I have a, I try to invest a little bit, try to save, but a, a lot of it's just been re um, investing in like gear. Because camera gear is expensive. You're always losing stuff too. It's funny you say that. When I was in El Salvador, I crashed my drone. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I feel like those are hard to like operate though. No, mm-hmm. I mean, I that was the first time I've ever crashed it in like four or five years oh really i've had it <clears throat> and a bird knocked it out the sky and i was flying towards the building a fucking bird it's probably because they're not used to like seeing shit like that right <laughs> <laughs> so they're like yo what is this and it just it hit the bird i saw feathers and then next thing you know it's like flying and it goes into a uh, a building boom and then it lands and i go looking for it and then i i, and I find gone. a building and then I see a guard like holding it and he's just smiling like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I had to like convince him a little bit to give it back to me because he, he didn't want to give it to me. So that's was, wild. Yeah, it was funny. He was just like, well, I thought you were spying. Yeah, no, like they caught <clears throat> It was a whole ordeal. Good thing. I, good thing I had, had the translator there because I would have been fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just like, ah, <laughs> just making noises. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like literally making. I don't know what to say. And he's yeah. just like, like smiling in my face. I'm like, man, just give it back, bro, please. <laughs> so it's one of the places that you've traveled to that you're just like. Now that I've seen that you traveled mm-hmm. a lot, um, that you're just like it will forever stay in your mind. What what place? Mm-hmm. Oh, Egypt for sure. When you man. did the scorpion. Yes, that's fucking funny that you remember that. Damn, that's hilarious. 
<laughs> Damn, you've been watching my stories. I fuck with you. <laughs> I honestly I like. I'm yeah, well, we're like, we'll be talking about it. Like we'll be like, That's like separate places, funny. and then we come back and we'll be like, "Hey, you seen the story?" <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh my god, did you see my story? <laughs> the scorpion, yeah. I, I tried to uh, do a little body surfing, and that wave was way bigger than I thought. He <laughs> <laughs> took me over. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> my my heels hit the back of my head. <laughs> glasses Wait. fell off. I lost my glasses. Didn't you lose, like one of your yeah, no, I lost AirPods. my AirPod. Like you man, found it, it though, a, right? Yeah, I came back and found it on the beach. <laughs> 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 That nah, is wild. Egypt, Egypt was oh fun, God. man. It was just crazy to see, like, obviously the pyramids. And again, like, there's no tourists there, really. Like, it's very... Yeah. There is There is, but, like, not like way. when you go to, like, I don't know, Mexico not, like, or, like, yeah, or something. something like that. Yeah. Like, again, I was running there and then people were like, what the fuck? It's like this dude... I actually got He's in trouble running around the world, recording myself. There's no... Oh, you can't yeah. Have bones. I was going to ask you oh, that. Shit. Yeah, there's, like, literally signs that say, like, wow. Well, I think it says no phones, but <laughs> or no recording because it's a phone with an X. <laughs> it's Arabic underneath. <laughs> I'm assuming it says no recording, <laughs> but a cop stopped me. He's just like no, and I was like, oh okay. But um, but yeah, Egypt is definitely like my most. Why memorable. though? Do you know why? It's because it's crazy. Who the fuck goes to Egypt? Nobody. I mean, not not a lot of people. But and the pyramids, like that, like seeing those things in person. So you can't is, record them. You there you can. When I was in the city of Cairo, they just don't allow recording on the street for some weird reason. But when you go to the pyramids, obviously that's like the tourist attraction. Yeah, yeah. Um it's just like you see it in the books, you see it on T V, see it in movies, but I then mean, when you yeah. see it in person, it's like, whoa. Is that one of those uh one of the seven wonders? Yeah, yes. one yeah, of yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. And then the the way they're lined up, the way they're positioned, the way they're created, I'm like touching it, I'm like, there's no fucking way we made this. Like You can touch them? Yeah, you can touch them. You can, oh, you can wow. climb like a couple steps up. Um, mm -hmm. You can go inside of them. Inside, man, inside of them, there's like paintings that are there. And then there's like um, some of the rooms, if you shine your flashlight certain ways, there's different messages. It's like, there's no like, humans that make this. Bro, it's crazy. I'm telling you. It was like, I didn't even know you can go inside of them. Man, and then like actually, like one of the oldest pyramids <clears throat> in the world is in Egypt. And uh, I think it's in the world, or one of the pyramids in and um in gaza um is actually not those three pyramids it's actually another one but it collapsed so it's like off to the right and it just honestly looks like a big pile of dirt <laughs> but they're like oh here's the oldest pyramid i'm like where <laughs> but anyways but like uh but like just seeing those things up close the history of it yeah like, there's is the, just no an, way it's it's like is the sphinx there too Yes, and it's like no, yeah. It's like seeing all that, bro. It's just crazy, and they actually have concerts in front of the pyramids. Like, there's like a lot of people that go out there and play. It's like a concert venue, like right below the pyramids. It's well, pretty Scott insane. Did it. Yeah, I think right? he did yeah, do it. Yeah, I think did do so. It. But yeah, Egypt is definitely like one like, that man. Egypt's like, how's the food? Food is incredible. It's like all Mediterranean. Um, well, most of it. I ate most of the Mediterranean food, but. Um, some Egyptian food, but this is, I just felt like the, um, it's a lot more cleaner over there. It's like naturals. Like everything's natural. Everything's from the farm. Um, we went to this one restaurant. They were like, they literally made the bread like right next to you. They had those three ladies on the floor, putting flour together and putting them in the stove and then giving it to you. And then there are just people in the, um, out on the farm, like picking vegetables and just like, it's like very like organic, I guess you could mm -hmm. say. Yeah. But, but honestly, that's the way of living everywhere else except the u.s because we try to like capitalize and yeah, be bigger yeah, but you know better. what though i also think that now a lot of the organic and the clean eating is mm -hmm. kind of becoming like not it's like a, a label. trend you it's know just a label. Yeah, but yeah. yeah but i feel like <clears throat> well, now i feel like i see a lot of more people trying to plant their own stuff yeah you know? i mean it's just people coming i think it's just people becoming more aware of like how shitty our foods really are here in the u.s i'm very I don't want to say health. Con I, I guess it's health conscious, but I've I've I look at like what's in in the foods. I try to just stick to whole foods like meat and and uh, fruit. So you don't eat McDonald's every once in a while. Well, when you're little, feeling like a little high, <laughs> you go get a double. But I'll tell you what. Let me tell you one thing. Uh, McDonald's is probably not the best, but probably like the more cleaner choice of fast foods because they use 100 percent beef. Their quarter pounders, 
are 100 percent. but what about their chicken nuggets oh fuck no that's just lab made (laughs) you made that in the lab (laughs) they put a bunch of molecules together stop 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 talking (laughs) and then stop putting water on it it just grew and then it's a you ever seen good burger uh, remember the Mondo yeah. burgers? Yeah, no, I don't remember them. Yeah, they're, they're injecting their burgers and their steroid burgers like this big. That's pretty much like how that is. Okay. But anyways, yeah. but yeah, I, I, I've tried to, I'm very aware of like what I'm uh, purchasing is like, I honestly just purchase like grass fed beef and then fruit. And that's really all I eat. It's beef and fruit and a little bit of rice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you ever been to India? I have, uh, I've been to Dubai, but. How was that? It's cool. It's like, it's like Vegas and Miami. Mixed, mixed together on steroids. You know where I really want to go? I want to go to Singapore. Singapore. I haven't been there. No, that'd be cool. I want to go there like so bad. Like just to, that's where we were supposed to go for our honeymoon. Oh, nice. But I think you have you to get baby? like a shot. Oh. No, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you had a baby? No, he didn't come till like two years ago. Oh, later. okay, okay. No, but we booked our honeymoon like literally the week before our wedding. Oh, shit. So... <laughs> It was super last minute. We ended up going with Cancun, and it was our first time too. So, can, which can, it was can't go cool. wrong with Cancun. No, yeah, you can. Yeah. But we were like, this okay, well, let's just go somewhere where we kind of know the <clears> language, <throat> you know, which was Spanish. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think like anywhere Mexico's cool. Mexico City's dope. Central America, fucking incredible. Costa yeah. Rica, Peru. <clears like, throat> I went to Costa Rica with my grandparents, man. and I remember that at Costa some Rica's point. Incredible. Yes, we went to a restaurant, and next to the restaurant, it was like a little, like a little forest with mm-hmm. full of iguanas. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What do you know? What town <clears throat> you went to? Oh, I went to different ones. Man, we I went were to the like worst road town, tripping over there, right? <laughs> Wait, what? The town I went to was called Hako. At the time, the guy who told me to go was like, "Bro, they got the best parties there. Blah blah blah. It's amazing." I didn't put two and two together. Until I got there, that his type of party is in my type of party. So when I get there, I'm like, during the daytime, it's like dead. And I'm walking around, me and my boy are walking around, I'm like, yo, what, like, where the fuck is everybody at? Yeah. Anyways, nighttime comes, I'm like, oh, okay, everybody's out popping. But then I just see nothing but girls. I'm like, that's weird. Yeah. Why are they lined up on the street like that? Oh my God. And we're walking down. Walking down the street, poppy, poppy, poppy. I was like, oh, <laughs> hell no. Nah. And then you take, like, you, you go down the main street and they're just everywhere. And then you take a left down the street, there's a casino at the very end. Dude, there's like 200 women just Outside. waiting, just waiting there for people to come up to them and be like, what do you want to do tonight? I'm like, bro, this is not my type of party. <laughs> like, ah, That's this is crazy. Like, it was not, it wasn't fun to me. So I ended up, like we tried going out, but like we were going out everywhere. It's getting harassed left and right. We had like three prostitutes follow us back to the Airbnb. Like it was just like I was like, nah, like I don't get down like this. Like it's not, not yeah. this that wasn't that's not my type of fun. I yeah. mean if that's your type, that's cool. But yeah. yeah. I was just like so we ended up leaving Jaco a night early and drove all the way to uh Tamarindo. Okay, we went to that one. I that place that is dope. One. But as soon as I got there, they fucking broke into my car. <laughs> It took my passport, my camera, <gasps> my laptop. Passport. It took everything. So I, I was stuck. Isn't that scary? At the time, it yeah, was super scared. Right? No, like, yeah, I was super <clears> scared because <throat> I was like, holy shit, I'm stuck here in fucking Costa Rica. But now that I've experienced that, I know exactly what to do. What so to do? Tell us. It's, it's very easy. It's very simple. Don't panic, first of all. <laughs> don't panic. When it, If you ever get your passport stolen or lost, all you got to do is head to a U.S. US embassy. Oh, okay. You got to look for it first, obviously. Yeah. You got to head to an embassy. Uh... Once you get there, you got to um, fill out all this paperwork and then they give you... There's usually print shops and... Um, like within uh, the same street. Yeah, within the same street. Like print shops and like photo... Um, passport photos, like all in the same area. So like everything you have to do is like right there. Oh, so you okay. just go there, take your photos, fill out all the paperwork. Uh, I keep my copies of my uh, social and driver's... I mean social and birth certificate in my phone. Like in the notes app. Yeah, yeah just in case <clears throat> so like that kind of benefit so i printed that out um and then yeah you just go to the embassy it takes like two hours they give you an emergency passport i've always home. wondered because there is one everywhere right yeah 100%. like and it, but they might they may not be close like yeah tamarindo to san, san jose was like six hours oh we went to san jose too. yeah but it was like six hours but the mileage was only like 100 miles yeah like 90 miles but it takes that long because you're in the mountains there's cows in the way there's fucking cattle crossing the road like just like random shit and sometimes the roads are one ways it's like it's scary yeah, it's, yeah. it's very very different I went when I was like super young I think I was like 13 or 12 no I was mm-hmm. like 12 
yeah, I was 12. And um, I, I remember when we went, uh, I was I had to run in that over there. There's well, when I went, it was there was no chips and salsa. It was like the That's little. Funny that you said that because I asked for that too. They looked at me crazy. <laughs> so what did they have? What it's the uh, platanos. Yeah. It's the tajadas. Oh, good. Yeah, it's the, it's green <clears throat> banana fried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. No, it's really good. Though. Yeah, it's They're really good. Again, good. food incredible. Yeah. Very fresh. Well, I liked like, it because I'm used to like the Central American food, mm -hmm. like in from Italo, oh, that's you know. True, that's so true. then, uh, to me, it was like, oh, I was like living life, platanos fritos, left to right, yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, another thing too was um, I remember where because we. We, when we went, we were just going different places. Okay. And I remember one of the places they had to take my all my jewelry off. Oh, shit. In Costa Rica, because they're like, oh, no, like this place, when we drive through, like they break in and they try Damn. to like, steal your stuff, you know. And there was Damn. a nude beach, So how do people too. live there, though, right? Oh, there I, mean, a, I just came from a nude. And when I was in Spain a couple weeks ago, all the beaches were pretty much nude. Really? Yeah. Did you go? Yeah. I didn't go nude. No, no, oh, no. I didn't go nude. <laughs> but, like, I just remember... Was it like weird? walking onto the no? I mean, walking on it's for them, it's a way of life. I'm like walking onto the beach, I'm seeing like all the girls, like topless. I'm like, oh, and then see dudes just spread eagle, elephant trunk hanging out. I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is what we're doing here. I'm like, all right, and That's then like I'm just like looking around, like, oh man, these dudes are really just like, but it's adults only, to right? Tan, to tan their inner thigh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, <laughs> and it's just laid out, legs spread. I'm like. All right, it's what we're doing. So it's just a way of life over there. But it's also funny because I got in the water and the water was freezing. It like, always is, though. So cold. And I got in the water and I was like, all right, man, I got to like, I'm in Spain. Like, fuck it. So I'm like knee deep and I'm like trying to psych myself up to get in. I'm like, get in, get in. This dude walks in butt ass naked. Waves hitting him. Waves hitting his meat and everything. Nothing, didn't even flinch. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, this dude, like, like man, it could be a little bitch. <laughs> I'm doing uh -uh. it with them. My girl's like, oh, you out there swimming with him? I'm like, <laughs> but no, nah, it's just a way of life over there. It's just, so you went to Spain? Yeah, I just went to Ibiza uh, oh, wow. three weeks ago. That how, was fun. How was, oh, like, how Spain. long I was that? So I want to go to Spain too. I want to go to Spain too. How is it, like, I heard that, like, over there, is it Italy or Spain, the ones that they don't like Americans? Um, Supposedly, right? I'm not friends, sure. Maybe like, Italy? I don't know. I mean, they're pretty friendly. I mean, it's like, Ibiza is like a, a tourist attraction over there. So oh, it's like okay, their so, Tulum. Oh, okay. Their Cancun. Yeah, yeah, So, like, you're getting people from Different. UK, Germany, mm -hmm. like, Asia, like, everywhere. They're getting, you're getting all types of people. And it's a small little island. It's just party. All you do is party there. So oh, like, I see. So like, I, we would wake up like 12, 1, have lunch, go hit the beaches, and then have dinner, and then kind of just like rest until we go out like around 1 a.m., and you, you would go out from like 1 to 7. <laughs> and then get home at 7, watch the sun a little bit, and, like, all right, and then close all the blinds, and then go to sleep, and then wake up at 1. So that's what we did for like four days. <laughs> that's crazy. But it's, but it's honestly, it wasn't that bad because um, I just, I didn't, I stayed on Houston time. So like when we would get up at one, it would be 7 a.m. here. It was like a seven hour time change. So when we would go to sleep at 7 a.m., it would only be like midnight here. So I'm like, ah, it's like we're, we didn't get off the schedule. So I never got jet lag. Yeah. And then when I came back, I like readjusted easily. Yeah. yeah. Um, you ever had jet lag somewhere? Hell yeah, bro. That shit is the worst. When I went to Dubai and when I went to Peru, I think it's a Dubai was like a 12 hours. and I think Peru was like a nine hour. Time different. It just feels awful, bro. It just it's so you're the awake. You you're awake over there. You while we're yeah, you literally can't like, like if you lay down and take a nap, like you're not waking up. Like as much as you try to like just just get up, like you're just so exhausted, and your brain is like, yo, I should be asleep right now. Yo, but why though, right? Like it, like how we're sleeping, they're awake over there. Yeah, it's like uh, you would think everybody runs on the same human clock or, or whatever. Uh, so. Let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's like people are about to go to sleep over there in like in in Dubai and stuff. And, and our day is barely getting started, so it's like, how are we awake? And they're like, well, it's like where well, they're the at sun. on the yeah, where on they're the, at on the, the world. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> like so right now. On, it's, so if you're on that side, like you're, the sun's you're on our side, and it's gonna rotate. You know, the sun. Yeah, where's rotate? That's how it works. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, but I'm saying like like oh, the clock. because because of daylight because of daylight is like. Yeah, well, we're not vampires either. Like we can't get a well, lot you grow, done. Well, we you grow up, I guess. uh whatever <laughs> <laughs> well yeah no the, the jet you lag really, is, is, we do is real. grow up really thinking like okay we oh, need 100%. the sun yeah, like yeah, yeah. you know to get things done and yeah. it is it's true like the sun does give us a lot of light 
to get that. us stuff. I to get sun. stuff done. Yeah. yeah. No, but I was shout asking out, about shout India. Out shout, shout out to the sun. Shout out to the sun. Sure. I was talking about India because uh, you you seen the, you seen that one guy that like you ever seen the food the street food over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's this yeah. one guy that have you seen it? He's, he's like, like no. he's throwing like he's just sitting down I see and then like he has like a towel on his legs and he's just like. It's like soup, and he's just giving you a plate with like. Oh, uh, yeah, I know it's something. But yeah, it's yeah. so I don't know, just I'll, different. I don't want to say it's nasty, but honestly, bro. But like, <clears throat> I, I will say, like, experiencing uh, like all the travel. I feel like everyone needs to travel to experience because then you get like a better perspective on life, and then you just like you learn how to appreciate. And it sounds cliche, but it it just comes naturally. Like you get home, and you kind of see what you have. You're like, what am I really even tripping for? Like, I just came from a third world country. There's kids on the street with no shoes. So, like, it really changes your perspective about life. And you just, like, you stop, like, tripping so much on, like, little things. You stop, like, getting upset about this guy honked at me behind. I'm like, all right, bro, whatever. And, like, shit like that. Like, it, your perspective really changes once you travel and you just <clears throat> kind of appreciate what you got. But that's I, crazy I, I do to recommend. say that. I feel like it would bother me. Like, I feel like if I see kids, if I'm, like, with Milo mm-hmm. and I see that he's good and yeah, I see yeah. another kid, I'm, I would It's feel, their way of life, though. It's yeah, their way of life. I, mean, I would feel you, so bad. Like, like, yeah. I think the worst I've seen it was uh, in Peru when I was there. There was, like, all these kids lined up outside to get seen in the hospital, but they wouldn't let them in until they paid. So like some of these kids are like, I don't know, probably I don't know how sick they were, but some of the kids look really like fucked up. But they wouldn't allow them in the hospital until you pay up front. So they were telling me that like sometimes people die waiting outside in line. No way. Because they can't, they can't pay. I'm yeah, like, that's fucking crazy. I mean, other countries are just yeah. Insane. Like here, you go to the hospital, you they don't have pay to see you. To, like yeah, it's it's required. To. Over there, they don't have to see you. Like yeah, you want to have your baby, have it right there. Have it on the sidewalk. It's fucking. It, it's insane. I'm telling you, like that's it's crazy. it's crazy. And then like like over like and when I was in Peru, the people who do get healthcare, healthcare, <laughs> um, you have to have dirt floors and like clay roofs, or like you can't have like roofs or something something around something like that. But if you if you have like um, tile floor or something, you're considered like wealthy. But even the people who have tile floor, they're like, I don't have fucking money. I just have a floor. So it's like, th- that's how they recognize, like, oh, or, or certain parts of the country that you live. Oh, if you live in the farmland, like, oh, yeah, you're poor. But if you live in the city, oh, you probably have a little bit of money. So you don't need the health care as much as, like, this person. Oh, it's uh, it's, it's crazy. fucking crazy. Yeah. They're, they're ruthless out there. Yeah, have you ever been to Colombia? No, I haven't. I, I really want to go. That's that's very, very high on my I list. I want to go to Colombia or, like, Brazil, you know, like... Yeah, I I have some time. I'm scared of Brazil. I'm I, w- I want to go to Brazil with one of my um one of my clients with uh, my friend too. Um my fighter Regis Progres. Yeah. His wife is from Brazil. She's from like the favelas. So they go over there every year um for like 2 months or a month. So he's always invited me. That's the only way I'll go. Other than that, I'm not going by myself <laughs> cuz I've heard too much heard too much bad yeah, yeah. shit and bad yeah. shit always happens to me, so I'm like <laughs> I had bad luck. No, yeah. Traveling, well, you so know, like, it's so nah, crazy because um, like one of my my co-hosts, Alondra, she was saying that in Brazil is the what is the place where they celebrate the devil and stuff. Is like, it? Yeah, it's the. I don't know. She says the that. Satanist? Are you pretty, I mean, are you pretty religious? religious? Oh, well, I'm Catholic, okay. but it's just you grew like, up Catholic. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but it's not like hard. Like I mean, we're just regular yeah, Catholics. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, right. Yeah. So then, <laughs> yeah, no, shout you, out yeah. to the regular Catholics. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know, but yeah, she was telling me. I was like, that is fucking crazy. Well, I mean, like, I think that's everywhere though. No, like she says that they throw like a whole party, and then she showed me, and it was like people in masks with like. Uh, I mean, isn't that equivalent to like uh, Mexicans uh, Dia, de, Dia, de, Dia de los Muertos? Yeah, no, <laughs> because Dia de los Muertos, you're celebrating the, the uh, like the dead. Yes. But, oh yeah, yes, that's but true. But it's that's like true. in remem- remembering them, like basically. Past loved like, ones, right? like 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 the movie Coco damn. is based off. It's kind of like that. <laughs> damn, dude! <laughs> Did you I, cry? Man, I I remember when my friend passed away, and as like obviously time goes on, right? Yeah, yeah. And one of my good <clears> friends <throat> passed away, and, and like. Uh, after six months, you know, you, you kind of start living a normal life, right? Mm-hmm. And you, like, don't think about him as much. And I just remember I could not stop thinking about, like, Coco and how he started disappearing. So it would make myself sad because I'm like, oh, no, I didn't think about him today. <laughs> I'm like, he's disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> so I would get, like, super sad. But, like, yeah. that's a... That's a 
That's a really good movie. Yeah, that's really, yeah. really good so movie. So that's basically the celebration of Day of the Dead. Yeah. For Mexico or like a, a lot of. People, it's dope. You know? I, I love the like the art behind. Like, man, I need to get better with my culture, man. <laughs> I gotta get, I gotta get more in tune with my culture. Where are your parents from again? They're from. I mean, we're from like we're like fifth generation Texans. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, they're from the valley. <laughs> from the valley. <laughs> they're all from the valley. My parents are from the valley. My grandparents are from the valley. Their parents are probably from the valley. So what's um, the culture? Their parents are from Mexico. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. We're Mexican somehow. I think we fought in Alamo, but <laughs> that's how far that's how far back Texan we are. <laughs> like, uh-uh. <laughs> No, I'm just yeah. with you, but we're pretty like it's been. We've been deep, here for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> we've been here for a long. Well, long that's time. probably that's why you don't speak Spanish. Nah, yeah, too. no, for sure. Do your parents speak Spanish? Yeah, they speak Spanish. Um, so just you. This is this is me, and my yeah. I mean, but like all my cousins, none of us speak Spanish. Mm. Yeah, so it's like. Do you ever want to just learn it? I do. I say it's on my goals every year. Like all right, I'd learn Spanish, but. You know, you and start. You, you start for a week. Duol- Duolingo. Yeah, right. Duolingo. I start like, oh, all right, getting up every morning. See, si, say, puede. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? That means yes, I can. <laughs> well, yeah, so I, I give myself affirmations in Spanish, so I yeah. can learn Spanish. Oh yeah, that's yeah, the that's way all. you gotta go. Well, with that being said, let's go on a quick break, and we'll be break, back. Break. Yep. Oh. we're back no yeah so we're going to disney okay uh but i also think disney world is more for like little girls yeah. you know uh but we're just going there just to experience mm-hmm. the magic kingdom right yeah and then i don't even want to go to that he it's doesn't because boring, he didn't I he doesn't want money. to go because he knows that they don't but sell beer there no that's not why you keep bringing up that oh they don't sell beer i'm like it's cool i'll pre-game you know, look, but, you're gonna walk i'm gonna tell you how it goes i just went recently because we did an interview in the magic kingdom and i was just kind of like looking around like oh <laughs> you walk in and the castle's there and that's kind of it i think you want to see the castle like you just walk no, around a little bit i do want to like, see the castle and the people are probably gonna come after me like oh no they have this this and this well don't no. they have a bunch of shows i mean that's what you want to do well no but i like, mean it's just the experience. if i was if i was him i'd be like yo where the rides at like let yeah, me that, get on some rides <laughs> Yeah, he I seems like a ride kind of guy. He is a ride kind of guy. <laughs> but I'm, t- yeah, I keep. For, it, she, I don't know. She keeps seeing like the. But your oh, mom the, wants the castle, to go to castle. Magic Kingdom too. She wants Maybe. to experience it. Okay, I think it's the girls in the I group. Then the girls in the group when they, yeah, want to experience the castle. Yeah, I, think, I never went. I just want to know. I get, yeah, as an I, I can, okay. Thing, I, I mean, you yeah, know? you can just go to experience it. Okay. We're going to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Yeah, right. yeah, but as long as you go, to Universal's yeah. fun. So we're at, yeah. we're starting at Magic Kingdom, yeah. and then we're doing Hollywood Studios. I think you could do multiple in one day. Yeah, but we're gonna do one at one. We're going for four days. Oh, okay. we're doing we're gonna be over there from Saturday to Saturday. Let's okay, say nice. his actual birthday will be at Magic Kingdom. Oh, nice. And then um, so, uh, Tuesday, will, I mean Monday, I think we're gonna be doing um, Hollywood Studios with Disney. Okay, one of the parks, mm-hmm. and then we're taking a break and we're moving. We're checking in at Universal. And we're gonna nice. be doing both parks at Universal. I remember, man. Universal was like a key. We're like, oh shit, sorry, that's me. A key memory in my head when I was a kid. I wanted like when I was twelve, and I was man, I was like, I still think about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, so yeah, that was so tight. Like, we love Harry time, Potter, yeah. so it's just oh, okay, like the yeah, trains over up. there, and so me, I feel I like Milo's excited too. for. I think he wants to see both, mm-hmm. you know, and he does want to go to the castle yeah. basically I, I would go to see the harry potter world that's yeah, yeah i think yeah. that's the main focus for universal yeah. for us because we went to the universal in cali and um well we've never been to the one in florida oh, okay. but the one in california it's a smaller smaller mm. world you know mm-hmm. and we did vip that was oh, worth oh, it it was worth oh, it bro damn, hey it. the pauses were hidden that month <laughs> <laughs> No, but you know what though? Because of the Super Mario World. Oh, that's dope. California. Okay, that's sick. And uh, I would see on TikTok, man, the line, the line, the line, right? Oh, so. we when we got there, we we got on the ride for Super Mario like in what 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And people were waiting like hours, bro, like, hours. And it was like this. It was how like, much extra was a VIP? We paid four hundred for all of us. I mean, oh, per person. Not... Oh, okay. For, for the one day. day, yeah. But so, bro, but we're like ticket, in there. Anyway. So I guess that is but the weird, ticket yeah. is like two hundred and fifty because we went. Oh, so like, you might as well. Yeah, but we went midsummer, so I told Ronan, "I'm like, we have to do yeah. VIP." But the VIP also included breakfast. It included oh, lunch. Okay. It we literally 
the longest line we waited for was the Super Mario World, and that was like fifteen. And minutes. then what? And then it ended we like got on at all what? The rides. Damn, it ended at five or something. I don't know. The like, tour because it was up. early morning. And then let's say the tour ends up at five, and after that you just go wherever you want to go after. Yeah. yeah. So, so we still, with, between eight in the morning <clears throat> to five, we were able to get on all the rides, get into Super Mario World. We all the big rides. We all the got main all rides. the yeah, main yeah. rides. Yeah. And then we went to the Despicable Me side oh, on, okay. our, on our own. Yeah, and yeah. That even that like once your tour is done. The, oh, that's the, the minions. minions. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, once the tour is done, you still get are able to go on the mm-hmm. express side because there's regular express VIP. Damn. So yeah, yeah. but so, we're not doing VIP at Disney because yeah. that shit is way too expensive. Nah, you know what? You know hour. what VIP felt like you uh, in grown ups. You know when they're yeah. I think in grown ups too they go behind the. To get on the top of the slide, oh, yeah, yeah. and they're like <laughs> sneaking in. Yeah, that's yeah. what it felt like. Yeah, bro. because in VIP they take you. He'd open like, his door and he's like, "Hey, just come with me, fuck it." And you then know? he would make us skip all the lines. Like I, I remember going to like uh, Fiesta Texas when I got older, and I was obviously old enough to pay for like the fast pass. It's like not that much more than a regular ticket. And I'm like, man, my parents had me in line baking <laughs> in the sun for hours. <laughs> like, bro, you could have spent the extra twenty dollars. Like, come on now. <laughs> yeah, so you could have been rode all the rides have been gone in three hours. <laughs> No, yeah, you know, so then for me, it's just like, and see, we're not doing VIP, like, any of these, we're going to four parks, that's a lot, so then I turn around, I'm like, let's just go literally experience the actual Mm -hmm. park, like, there's no rush, like, the goal is to knock out a few rides out of the park. We are getting an express thing, right? No, we're not. I heard the, I heard Epcot is like the the cool spot. For For adults. adults, For adults, adults. yeah. 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 I want to go there, but I feel like he's too small, he's going to be like, yeah. You know, yeah, I think the drink, I think you can drink like Everybody, I don't know. Yeah. My, my boy fun. Sam just keeps trying to go. That'll be an a iPad go. day for him. That'll be. <laughs> yeah, just, there you go, bro. <laughs> yeah, literally. Or just don't go there. Don't go. You said it's it. Hard, but... <laughs> Damn. It's an iPad kid activities. <laughs> Straight up. Man, no, but yeah, yeah so I'm... we're excited. That's what we're <clears> gonna nah, be doing gonna be this fun. summer. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Oh, but sure. so going into like um the whole like business business ethic that's what we we're talking about right yeah we're oh, talking yeah, about like that off camera being friends yeah. how does that clients? how does that work for you yeah there's obviously a um i i try to i learned my lesson so when i first started i uh i kind i would get like not attached to my clients but like i would be too friendly with them where i would cross the boundaries of like client friend relationship uh as far as like i felt like i would i would kind of turn to them I would like start to thinking they're too much of my friends and I would kind of lose the fact that like, yo, at the end of the day, they're paying you to be here. So you can't be doing like X, Y, Z, especially like, I mean, when I was on tour, like with that band, obviously they were super cool. with me, and we were all hang out, but it's like, I still have a job to do. And like, sometimes I would go a little too crazy, like partying or like staying up late or like missing like the hotel check-in and shit like that. And they'll be like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like shit like that. that that's what I mean by like, you still have to, act professional you have to keep a professional level even when you're doing fun things you may seem like everyone's cool but then the day they're and then they'll be like yo where's the picture that like oh fuck like we were all out last night like what do you mean they're like well what the fuck we have you here for so it's like shit like that like that's what i learned very very early on it's like no matter what like they're still expecting you to do the job so like in reality now if something like that would happen i go do what i have to do first and then Go have fun with them yeah. or just hang out with them. Are you them. still with them? Yeah, I'm still with them. We actually go on tour next week. Go to oh, uh, New okay. York. New York. Because I saw, whenever you were here on the, like your first episode, you were with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not still with them for five years, six years, five years. Um, we're going to New York next week, Madison Square Garden for three days. I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, we're opening up for dope. Odessa. I don't know if you know them. They're okay. But <laughs> they're okay. Shout out. They're right. <laughs> no, but yeah, that's but. true though, because with my boss, I feel like when we have events, um, they're always giving us beer, mm-hmm. but I just know not to go too crazy because yeah, I mean now, like, like now, I'm obviously I'm a, I'm a completely different person than I was back then, but <laughs> <laughs> but no, like now I, I, since I don't party as much, I don't drink. I, I like now, like none of my clients see me like like that, like the person, I, like none of my clients will see me. I won't drink around them. I won't. Like, if they're partying, I'll just be chilling. I just don't want to, like, I want to keep them. I want them to look at me and be like, man, this guy is always, like, on. It, on. Yeah. So I want to <clears> keep <throat> that because I feel like I've gotten out of, like, I used to be fucking crazy, like, party. I was a fucking crazy-ass party person. So I feel like I finally transitioned out of that 
from people knowing me as like, oh, that's crazy ass Mike, like he fucking can party, to like now transition to like, oh damn, like that's that's Mike. He's very professional all the time. He's always, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, he gets shit done. That's yeah. what that's why I like enjoying to be now. Uh, but they won't see me get crazy. I'm not gonna get crazy around them. So it's just like a line you got to put it with yourself and like, how can I keep this separate between professional and relationship wise? Um, and just don't cross the boundaries and just keep the respect. Honestly, it's all respect. Yeah. Keep the respect with each other. Do your job, and then you can have fun a little bit, but you know, don't get too crazy. Yeah. Um, you don't. You just don't want them to look at you. I for me at least, I don't want them to look at me differently because I I like acted a fool one night. And then it's like. I don't know. That's just me, though. Yeah. Just no, me. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because I feel like for me, too, it's just not even that the party side yeah. of it, but just, excuse me, like even being on your phone. Like, mm-hmm. um, like I could be working and I'll be on my phone, you yeah. know, but it's just like I know I'm also getting shit done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not just just like on Facebook or Instagram, like just while I'm on the clock. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's one of, even though I know she doesn't care, you yeah. know, but um i just respect the time no 100 so yeah. do you still have a, a nine to five uh kind of? this kind of okay. right it's mm-hmm. just like but i work from home a lot oh okay and then we have like events on the weekends mm. and that's when i'm just like there or whatever yeah but other than that it's just like um it's it's like a whole uh, she respects what i have going on like mm-hmm. you know like right now like i'm recording a podcast and yeah, it's yeah. a wednesday you oh, know okay, what i mean yeah, yeah. so it's just like it just balances really yeah the, they're like Man, if you want to separate yourself really easily, I mean, honestly, just act professional. Like, act like accordingly. Be respectful. Like, have fucking manners. Be polite. Be nice. Like, that's mm-hmm. a, such an easy way to separate yourself uh, rather than, like, you walk into a room, say hello to everybody. Go go shake everyone's hands. Um, that, like, already will put you above a tier than a lot yeah. of people. Because, man, some people just think they're too cool. They'll walk into a room, don't say nothing to nobody. And yeah. I'm just like... Bro, what's up? Like, what's up, man? How? You? Okay, perfect <clears throat> example. Yes, and it, and because you never know who's in the room. Yesterday, I walked into the uh, boxing gym. I shot for uh, Shakur Stevenson yesterday. Walked into a boxing gym. Was not aware that they were having a full production shoot there, but it was Reebok. So mm-hmm. I walked in. and I'm like, huh? So I I just went to. I literally just introduced myself to everybody. And they're like, oh, I'm the head of Reebok. Oh, I'm the head marketing director of Reebok. Oh, I'm so and so a Reebok and I'm like oh shit I'm in the perfect room right now so then I was really like more engaged with them but it's like you never know who you're gonna meet and then after that they kind of were like yeah bro like do whatever you have to do like we'll we'll let you because at first they were kind of like eh, like I don't know like you probably shouldn't be here but um, after introducing myself they felt comfortable with me they were kind of like alright bro like go ahead like do what you gotta do yeah. yeah. I mean that kind of goes I mean again being nice can go such a long way I mean even when I was working for the NFL uh, this past season uh, the first, the first day, I literally again walked up to anyone I could see that I feel like is in charge, introduce myself, let me know if I'm in the way. My first game, if there's anything I'm not supposed to be doing, please come tell me. Um, by the end of the season, I was able to pretty much do whatever I wanted. As far as like the first day, they were like, "You can't go here, you can't go here, you can't do this, can't do this." They had all these rules. Yeah. But by the end of the season, um, I was showing them so much respect and I was I was just like not an asshole and I'm not like just super nice to everybody they let me kind of just like yeah bro just do your thing just, to make sure you just don't go over here or like yeah. just be aware of like where I'm at I'm like alright cool yeah. but like you know how was speeding. that too NFL man that was that I, was crazy that, that was fun. yeah cause man I'm not gonna lie the edits you were doing were dope man, and then you were doing the BTS that like, was <clears> that was so much fun <clears throat> uh, this is man this is like you're on the field you're just kind of looking around you're like damn like this is like you're at the top tier of sports like uh videography no matter like what even like because like they, they eventually had us just do a lot of cell phone stuff mm-hmm. but even then like you're on the field with these guys like you have access like face to face with with players that yeah people dream about being in, uh like being around in the so same it's like, room, like in yeah. the same room they're saying what's up to you they're dabbing you up like it's just like Again, perspective, being very really grateful, and it's just like um, it was incredible, bro. I had I had a blast. I honestly was out there and like, all right, what else can I do new this week? So it's like, how did how, how did you end up getting that? Like, man, I I knew a guy that worked for the Chicago Bears, uh, and me and him would just DM all the time. I never even met him like in person. Yeah. We still DM. He actually hires me for a lot of jobs. Anyways, um, the position opened up in Houston, and I just messaged him like, hey, bro, like. 
how do I apply for this? Like, blah, blah, blah. He said, I'll, I'll put in a good word for you. Next thing you know, I got a call for an interview, and then they hired me the same day. But so he kind of one got me in. And then once I got in, I realized it's like, it's just who you know. That's how you get in. It's every everything's uh, referral based. Did you did you have to have like a portfolio or something? I mean, I did. I just <clears> sent them <throat> all my boxing stuff. I was like, look, I yeah, never yeah. worked in NFL. I never worked in uh, football, but like, here's all the boxing shit I've done, and here's some of the players that I've worked with. Um, that kind of had that kind of helped me out a little bit. But again, it's kind of who I knew. Yeah. He, he uh, my boy John, has such like a good word that they were like, okay, we trust, we trust mm. you. So. That's, that's, that's where I'm crazy. trying to get at now. Where with me, we're in the NFL. Like that, I'm so I, they trust me so much that I can be like, yo, hey, one of my friends wants to get hired, and they'll be like, all right, we believe we believe he's a good person like you. So yeah, Damn, that's, that's cool. kind of where I want to be. Like in everything I do now, like that's a I'm goal. actually mentoring this kid right now. Shout out to Daniel. He's a fucking savage, and I fuck with him because he like he reminds me of me, but he's only 21, and he's like light years he's gonna be a savage he's about to he's gonna take over but like he's like so aware he's like how i am now like with my mentality and like mental health and everything but he's like 15 years younger than me and like he's just he hustles he hustles he don't complain he does work fucking very respectful walks into a room says hell i don't like these are things i don't have to tell him yeah and i worked with people where i have to be like hey man like make sure you go fucking say hi to everybody yeah. like we're working with them like um, just shit like that and um, I've been mentoring him for probably like two months now and I'm, I'm, I'm telling him like pretty much how I'm preaching to y'all like you yeah. know, dude a lot it's all about respect and like your word and your name and like I want to get to the point where like <clears throat> people trust me so much and my word is so powerful that I can just be like oh this person's good this person's good or like I, I know I could do it but I know he could do it even better. So I just want, I want to put like everybody in positions where I'm yeah. at. That's kind of yeah, like where I'm dope. at now. That's a good perspective to have. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Like where your word is. So worth. strong. So people trust me so much where like, I'm like, so no, like known where they're like, all right, well, I know this guy is going to be, I trust him. So I know this guy's going to do just as good as you. So mm. that's yeah. kind of where I'm at right now. Yeah. Man, like I, I really want to like put a lot of people on and just, and just build like my, my network what, what, what is it that like what's your like your pitch like whenever oh what i guess the people you're introducing yourself to are mm -hmm. people you're working with yeah that they day, already right? hired so, me yeah i mean okay. honestly i i don't um I, a lot of my clients are referral based yeah. um again just from like giving the customer i mean we're, obviously we're a service experience i mean even you we're, we're a customer service experience so how can i give my customer how can i give my client the best customer service experience yeah. so the fact that when they leave they'll be like damn i like that guy Let's bring him back. We're like, or they'll recommend me to someone else. Um, yeah, yeah. So I just try to keep that in mind. Like, all right, how can I give the best customer experience? Yeah. Not only with your work, because obviously the work is a given, bro. You know you're good. But what else can you add to that to additionally to, to make them like remember you? Um, like when they leave, they're just like, man, that, that, that Mike guy, that, that Roly, he was, that was fucking great. He was very communicative. He made changes when he had to, you know, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when we were on, he was very <clears throat> professional when we were, uh, when we were on shoot. Uh, very professional, like just overall. Um, I just think like the customer experience. People get too caught up in like, oh, my work's good. Everyone at this point, everyone's work is good. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like everyone's good. Well, the way to separate yourself now is, I feel like, is customer experience, um, professionalism. I think there's probably the <clears throat> two biggest things is. Um, are those two yeah. And yeah and like just being a nice person because I, I like now that i'm six years in i realize i used to get in my head like oh why do they why do they want to hire me um they, they could hire like you know like all these other people but it comes down to like they hire me because because it's me yeah at me as a person like they just genuinely enjoy who i am so they're like yeah i want to work with you um yeah obviously there may be some better people out there there always is but they might not be uh, not as like a nice person yeah, yeah. or like not, not, as, there ever not as enjoyable to work with yeah are there uh, ever gigs that you don't like take or you turn down yeah i mean there's still i mean absolutely it just depends on like man honestly i got to the point now where if i don't fuck with the vibe i'm not doing it like if i'm not if i talk to him on the phone i'm just like this ain't gonna be good yeah i'll turn it down i'm just like it's not worth the money i've just got to the point where it's like the stress is not worth the money anymore. Um, and I'm not saying I'm making a fuck ton of money like it's coming yeah. in. But like that $2,000 is going to cause me a whole week of fucking stress. And me like, I'm like, it's not even worth it, bro. It's like, it's really not. It comes to the point where, I mean, I, 
like for a mo- in the beginning when you're starting off, yes, yeah, say yes to everything because then you learn on what you don't want. Mm. That's what I'm trying, that's the biggest thing I'm telling um, my uh, my boy Dan right now is like, bro, say yes to everything. And then after a whole year saying yes to everything, kind of break down like, I fucking hated that. I hated this. I'm never doing that again. And it kind of gives you a perspective of where you want to where you want to go and your take your career. Yeah, yeah. Your direction. I'm sorry. Where you want to take your career from there. Mm-hmm. Um. And it just, it's just learning. It's just experience. You got You have to experience like all the bullshit in order to like get you where you want to go because then you'll never know what it's like to deal with the bullshit. Yeah. And then when the bullshit does happen later in your career, you're like, oh, I've dealt with this. Like, this ain't nothing. But yeah. then if you never deal with it, you're like, ah, I don't know how to deal with this. Like, I'm panicking. Yeah. So it's like, I feel like you have to go through those experiences. You have to go through those, like all the bullshit experiences to, to, to get yourself at a certain level. So when you get... In those positions, you don't panic, and you're just, all right, we're good. I've done this, and you start like uh, delegating. All right, we need to do this, 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 and this. Right. Um, but I feel like, I mean, that's what worth for me. That's what I've I've had some fucking good ass mentors too, man. I've had I've been really lucky with really good people around me, kind of showing me the ropes. But I think that kind of it comes with like me wanting to like learn and not being ashamed to ask like silly questions. Yeah. Um, that's like, my biggest thing too. Yeah, like, not yeah. be ashamed to ask silly questions and like asking people, like man, just the way like man, my, like the questions I would always ask is like, man, how do you like watching the way they move, not just like work wise, but like their day to day, they wake mm-hmm. up schedule, like what 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 is your day to day like? Like oh man, I you know I get up four a some some of these guys are four a.m. guys. I can never be a four a.m. guy, but just seeing the way they operate on a daily basis, that's kind of what I I based off of. Like all right, well I'm not I'm clearly not doing the right shit. I'm staying up late. I'm drinking. I'm doing all this shit. I'm waking up at fucking eleven o'clock, hungover. Okay. So I, like, that's what like kind of like when I first started seeing the way people operate, seeing the way like successful people operate. That's what kind of changed changed everything for me. But, um, but yeah, no, that's pretty much. Yeah, I don't I know. I don't know where the fuck I, I just went oh with that. Right on, right on. The four a.m. thing, man. I'm. I want to be a five a.m. guy. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to be. Like, today, I knew we had this podcast, and I was like, all right, I got to get my run in and exercise. So I I was like, I woke up at 6.40, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for a run. Fuck it. You know? I'm and a once in a blue moon or 5 a.m. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, try, I mean, my I found whatever works for me is 6 to 6.30. That's like, I'll get up, and I feel good when I get up. If I get up at 5, I'm like... <laughs> fucking dragging like ass and then I end up falling asleep around 11 because I'm so tired <laughs> so it's, it literally becomes a waste of day like but yeah, I can see that too it, yeah, it's, it's just it's like tiring. It's, it's I can't imagine with a kid that's even man what time it's, does he go to it's, sleep it's, it's keeping, not that hard I mean he goes to sleep I guess when he's we tell him to go to sleep oh okay yeah, yeah. what time do y'all go to sleep late as fuck fuck like 12 1 maybe oh, but damn. again but again it's because it's summer now right yeah, now yeah, yeah. but during the week whenever he but was we could school, tell him like hey go to sleep at eight yeah or nine we could, and he'll, but, okay. he'll go to sleep but, but since we're just always working yeah, yeah literally our family time starts like at 10 at night oh shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> the and hardest part is keeping them in 10 i'm in bed <laughs> <laughs> in bed by 10 the hardest part is keeping them entertained though yeah because like we'll be working and then she'll be working and then he'll go into my office Hey, uh, you want to fight? And I'm like, nah, not right now, bro. <laughs> like, bro, I'm mid deep in the edit right now. <laughs> so I'm <all> fighting. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, and then, yeah, you know, it's like things like that. And then I gotta, and then I'm like, oh shit, it's time for him to eat. You know, he's gotta eat. Yeah. So we're there like cooking and shit. Yeah, like right like, now he's already up. He yeah. woke up. He peeked his. His that's a, that's head, and then he's like, I know we're about to get out, and he's like, I'm hungry, you know. Yeah. And it's about that. It's, that's, it's equivalent it's to me. Ten twenty. To my so. my damn Doberman, yeah. but I can throw her ass in the kennel for a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, leave me alone. Go in the kennel. Well, with that being said, um, yeah. thank you for coming. No, again. appreciate having me back. Yeah, it was cool having you again, great, bro. Always great talking mm-hmm. to you guys. You and guys obviously, all his up. information will be in the description below, guys. So make sure y'all give him a follow. Um, if y'all want a music video, do not, do not hit him me. up. Okay? Do not hook me. Well, again, yeah. peace till next time. Other than Bye. that, hope you guys enjoy it. Peace.